Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Modern Technique. Today we're going to talk about selective picking. Okay, so what is selective picking? If you're familiar with the music of Animals as Leaders, you've probably heard this technique quite a lot. In fact, I think we can say that Tosin Abbasi basically invented this type of playing. Okay, but how can we de define what this technique is? Well, who better than the man itself could explain it, right? Uh, the basic, you know, mechanics is a hammer on from nowhere, and then you pick the amount of notes you want. So if I did three, it'd be one, two, three, one, so you can see I'm right. kind of selectively picking notes and hammering on others. Okay, so basically this means that selective picking is a combination of hammering on a note and then um, and then picking with the, with the right hand. And this creates a very fast percussive effect. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite new to this technique myself, so I thought it might be interesting if I could show you the main obstacles that I found when approaching this technique from scratch. The first thing that definitely feels weird when approaching this technique for the first time is playing the right rhythmic accents. Usually you tend to accent the notes you play with, with the downstroke with your pick, but that's not the case with selective picking. In fact the accent, uh, let's say let's say we are playing triplets, the accent is on the first note, so on the hammer-on. <laughs> This feels quite distracting sometimes, so it's the first thing that you might want to practice. So when I'm playing this, I'm focusing particularly on the hammer-on note, and then I'm picking very lightly with my right hand. The second big problem with this technique, in my opinion, is keeping that consistent percussive effect through the whole segment that you're playing. Of course you can help yourself with compression or palm muting, but keep in mind that you'll achieve a well-defined percussive effect only if you're playing perfectly in time with the grid and with the right rhythmic accents. And the only way to achieve that is to practice very very slow and then building up speed gradually. And that's what I did basically, I, I started practicing uh, very slow until I was able to perfectly control every, every uh, accent and every aspect of my playing. And then I started to gradually building up speed. So when you feel like you are losing control, and this can happen quite easily, with this technique, you have to take a step back, um, start again slowly, and then gradually building up speed again. The important thing is that you have always uh, full control of your fingers, um, of your timing, of course. So at this point, um, you'll need some exercises to study all of that. And what I did personally was practicing just basic arpeggio shapes like minor seventh, or major 7th, major ninth, And this is a technique that you can basically apply to uh, any shape or any pattern that you'd like. Yeah, just get creative and experiment with various different stuff. Yeah, really, it's up to you. 
Just keep in mind what I said earlier, um, it takes some time to, to master this technique. As I said, um, I'm still quite new to, to this technique, but I really enjoy the sound. I think it's something that has a great potential for writing animals as leaders style tunes. You can definitely try it. Anyway, here's some exercise example you can try for yourself. Anyway, I think that's it for now guys. As always, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, if so, leave a like, subscribe to the Modern Guitarist YouTube channel or you can even check out my personal YouTube channel. Um, remember to take a look at our uh, Facebook page where you can find daily live streams from a bunch of great people. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.